Many people outside of the Roblox community see Roblox as nothing more than a simple time waster for young kids, but as I'm sure many of you watching already know, if you play your cards right, playing Roblox can be very rewarding. Through trading limiteds, making popular games, building up a Roblox-centered social media community, and many more avenues, you can be swimming in Robux followers and potentially even real money. There truly is a bounty of resources you can get from Roblox, and even though that bounty is much smaller than it should be at the moment, it's still very significant. But unfortunately, as they say, the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away, and for every young person pulling in their bag from Roblox, there's always a scammer lurking in the shadows ready to yank it all away from them. Every social platform has scammers, of course, and some definitely have more than Roblox, but I think Roblox definitely takes the record for the highest variety of scammers that have existed on the platform throughout the years. Its focus on younger kids means that the majority of its users are much more vulnerable to scams, and with all the features and functionalities that Roblox has added and removed over its nearly 20-year history, many different types of scams have come and gone, but they've all done their part to shape scams as we know them today. Today I'd like to go over the timeline of Roblox scams, piecing together how how they worked, covering specific examples of each one, and hopefully by the end you'll be much more informed and prepared to face the dark world of Roblox scams. Also be sure to stick around to the end of this video because the very last scam I have to show you is quite possibly the funniest scam I have ever had the pleasure of reading in my life. Strap in everybody! Even though Roblox publicly released in 2006, true scams didn't really start entering the platform until around late 2007 and early 2008. It was in mid-2007 when a currency system was first introduced onto Roblox, and things to buy with that currency, like clothes and hats, started getting added. Money has a way of changing people, and very soon after it was added to Roblox, players started scheming a way to get as much of it as possible through any means necessary. One of, if not the first ever scams we have documentation of, was a team effort by users Kirby12, Sirloin, and Toddy. It was November 30th, and Roblox had just launched the first ever iteration of what would come to be known as the beloved gift explosion tradition. Over the course of 12 days, Roblox would reward each person whose account met some specific condition with a special gift box hat. And at the end of the 12 days, all the gift box hats would open, rewarding all of their owners with the item that they supposedly contained. For example, everyone who had the Bloxer badge on the second day got the black iron gift of Ponage, which gave them the Helm of the Secret Fire. Everyone who owned a pink hat on the fourth day got the special gift of Pink Explosion and later the Pink Winter Cap. Everyone who had over 100 messages in their inbox on the second to last day got the Agonized the ugly gift of full inbox, which gave them the ugly bucket of doom. You get the picture. But there was one gift in particular that was different from all the rest. One that left people scratching their heads, wondering how the heck they were meant to get it. The elite gift of Haxor. This is its description, and it seems to be of little to no help whatsoever. It might be a little hard to read if you don't have epic hacking skills like I do. It says, Telemon knows if you've got root on some poor dude's box. What's inside? The box is green and reminds you of the Matrix. Only the first one. The second two were disappointments. You shake it. Oh no! Sounds like something you shouldn't have shaken. This was weird. The other gift box's descriptions had at least given hints towards their required conditions, but this one didn't seem to be hinting towards anything. As it turned out, the hints for this one weren't actually in the description at all, but instead a random t-shirt and the Roblox blog. Visitors to the Roblox blog on November 30th would find a new blog post containing this weirdly worded fake police report. We're having trouble getting to the root of this problem. The thing is, it doesn't square with everything we know about Robloxians. See, most of them don't break into places and leave gifts. This guy's doing the inverse, and he's doing it fast. ID 5F3759DF Meanwhile, visitors to the featured shirts section of the Roblox catalog, which at the time just contained every shirt uploaded by the official Roblox account, would see a new shirt called Assert Haxor. It featured a picture of the elite gift of Haxor in the middle of some C++ code. Find Haxor, gift, lol, 0x5f3759df. One similarity between these two things that players noticed was the presence of this weird string of letters and numbers, a hex number. A quick Google search would reveal that this number is actually known as the magic number of the fast inverse square root algorithm, which was written to help render lighting and physics for the old FPS game Quake 3 by its lead programmer John Carmack. If you look at the fake police report Roblox provided, you'll notice that three words in it are capitalized, square, root, and inverse. The report ends with the word fast. From here, Robloxians were expected to figure out that they needed to find the Roblox account John Carmack and send it a message. Once they did that, the elite gift of Haxor would be theirs. But that's not what everyone did. They noticed the magic number, yes, but the jump to discovering John Carmack wasn't something that everyone made. Many people just thought that the magic number was the name of the secret account they needed to contact. Enter Kirby12, Sirloin, and Toddy, who cracked Roblox's riddle very early on, figured out exactly how confused Robloxians would be once they discovered the magic number, and decided to mess with them a little bit. They created an account named after the magic number, gave it a cool hacker color palette, put a link in its about me section to a photo of a Robloxian with the gift, and named its one and only game, 
Hallow Forever. Robloxians who searched the magic number in players instead of John Carmack would now find the dummy account, and when they saw the name of its place, they determined that there was another account that they had to contact called Hallow Forever, which was another account created by Kirby, Sirloin, and Todd. It's difficult to say exactly what happened when players contacted Hallow, but from forum posts made at the time, we can get a general idea. It seems that Hallow would message back anyone who contacted it with a series of cryptic clues. Every time a user solved one of the clues and messaged Hallow with the solution, they would get another clue back, but they would never reach the end. They'd just keep solving clue after clue and wasting their time. And one of these clues, probably one of the first in the series, was something to the effect of, Be Elite, wear a shirt made of meat. It just so happened that on that very same day, Sirloin had uploaded a shirt called Steak Torso. We don't have any records of its selling price, but according to one commenter, it cost one ticks, which was a common price for shirts back then, so we'll go with that. Desperate for the elite gift of Haxor, Robloxians bought the shirt in droves, thinking it was getting them closer to the prize, when in reality they were now one ticks in the hole and one meat shirt richer, which, I mean, kind of a W, not gonna lie. At the end of December 1st, Hello Forever took to the forums and ripped off the mask, letting everyone know they'd been scammed and revealing how the scam had gone for the group. Apparently, in total, they'd earned 800 ticks, which was enough to get them the most beautiful Roblox hat of all time. Since the shirt was only one ticks, aka one-tenth of what you would get just by logging into Roblox every day, people were generally able to laugh this off and not take it too seriously. Nevertheless, it still remains as a classic example of one of the earliest scam methods ever conducted on Roblox, getting people to buy pointless stuff. Players would very often try to get others to buy clothing from them under the pretense that doing so would benefit the buyer in some way, only for the buyer to then find out that that claim was untrue. Get Drawn was a pretty common one, where scammers would advertise that they would make you a drawing of your Roblox avatar for a low price, and then just never give you a drawing after you bought it. Another common one, which lasted a while after the classic era, pretty much up until Dark Mode killed it off, was the Invisible Torso scam, where players would abuse how the catalog presents shirts on a dummy to create a shirt that made it look like the dummy's torso was transparent. Sometimes they'd even be so lazy as to just upload a blank shirt and claim that yeah, it really does work, trust me bro. Regardless, those who were new to Roblox believed it, and many of these shirts were sold. Frequently, people would create fake versions of VIP t-shirts for popular games, usually sold at a lower price than the real thing. Later, when game passes were introduced, this would evolve into the creation of game passes that simply did nothing. I was even able to find one video example of someone claiming that if you bought their t-shirt, you would automatically receive 50 Robux a day forever afterwards, and their proof was that they were wearing it in the video and they got 50 Robux that day. It's like someone posting a picture of them in a new sports car on Instagram with the caption, newest addition to the fleet or something like that, but in reality they bought it with their life savings and the money they stole from a Taco Bell and that's where they live now. In general, it's always a good idea to only give someone money if you have proof that in exchange you'll get what the person promised you. It seems like such simple logic, but in certain situations it's very easy to forget that, no matter what age you are. Another common scam in the classic era was the incredibly difficult, dangerous, and calculated art of asking for people's passwords. Yeah, I did say kids are pretty vulnerable to scams, didn't I? Now, it wasn't quite as simple as just walking up to someone and being like, Hey, can I have your password? Sure! The scammer would usually promise some massive benefit that a player could get by handing them their information, saying that all they'd be doing would be logging onto the account, giving them the benefit, and walking away. In reality, of course, the account would just be stolen and used as a blood sacrifice to Bilderman, or whatever late 2000s Roblox players needed extra accounts for. Here's an example. Hi, I'm Master of Blocks. Me and 10596 buy people Builders Club and 10,000 or 15,000 Robux if they're in Builders Club or not, and we give it to the first name we see when we click on people. We do it every 20th of a month. Are you interested? Sure. Uh, I decay if you trust me. I'll go to another lucky winner, but I need your account info so I can buy you Builders Club and Robux. Notice how he didn't specify exactly what account info he wanted. If it had been me, I probably would have given him a full 20 page write up on the entire detailed history of my account. Like, you see, it all started back in the good old year of 2016. I was 11 then. I'd been dealing with frequent night terrors featuring a guy made out of plastic blocks coming to drain my bank account of $5 a month. One day I was talking to my best friend about it at lunch and he was like, you know what that sounds like? Here's one where they specifically asked for their victim's password. According to them, they needed it so that they can make a shirt that is admin to every place on Roblox. It would be a flawless scam, of course, except I actually know a secret trick that allows you to do this without needing to know anyone's password at all getting hired as a Roblox admin. Now remember, at the end of the day, it was mostly about the money for these scammers. Potentially getting an account with cool off-sale hats and a veteran join date was a bonus, but the money was really the only thing that could actually leave the victim's account and benefit the scammer. Why steal the entire account when you can just get the most important part of it by fooling them with a beating the exchange rates scam? Roblex was something that existed back when ticks were still a thing that allowed players to convert the Robux and ticks they had between the two currencies. It was honestly pretty complicated to use, and even after all of my research on it, I'm 
I'm pretty sure I'd still get absolutely wrecked on there. But essentially how it worked was you would list the amount and type of currency you wanted traded, the type of currency you wanted it traded for, and the ratio at which you wanted to trade. For example, someone might list 10,000 ticks at a ratio of 10 to 1, which meant that for every 10 ticks they wanted 1 robux, which would amount to 1,000 robux. The exchange would list the best going rates for both types of exchanges, ticks for robux and robux for ticks at the top, making it easy to see what rates would give you the most bang for your buck. Bang for your robux. I'll see myself out. More often than not, even the best rates were pretty mediocre, never straying too far away from the average. There were some times when people desperate to get a certain amount of a certain type of currency very quickly would pop into the system with an exceptionally stellar deal, but those deals would always be snapped up super quickly. This made many currency traders frustrated and fed up with Roblox. Now imagine you've been monitoring this exchange system for a whole day. You've been on the lookout for these sweet deals, maybe even seen a few pop up for a few seconds, but your laggy family computer is just too slow to keep up with them. You just can't seem to get that sub 10 to 1 ratio, and as you watch those numbers move around, you're being driven more and more insane by the minute. And then, you get this message. Dude, wanna trade? I'll give you 5,500 Robux for 8,000 tickets. If you want to, then say okay. I really need ticks because I want to buy that 30,000 ticket hat. I'd do it if I had 8k ticks. How much do you have? 2,856. I'll do, um, 1,500 Robux for 2,856 ticks. Buy my t-shirt I made now before I change my mind. Make an t-shirt that costs 1,500 Robux and then buy mine and I'll buy yours. Wow, so accommodating. And such a high ratio. You can't pass that up. You navigate to his profile, sweat dripping down your breath excitedly click buy on his shirt and wait for that robux to come roll again and it never does because he had no obligation whatsoever to send you any money at all it was just a t-shirt buy believe it or not this method was actually how people traded currencies in the days before roblox was added so some people still saw it as trustworthy for a while after it was made obsolete despite how unregulated and insecure it was as a result this was an effective scam tactic in the old days but it petered off as roblox became more and more standardized and that brings us to By 2013, the amount of players on Roblox had already started to snowball into the multiple tens of millions, and scammers were very eager to take advantage of all the new traffic. But if they wanted to stand up to all the new competition, they'd have to get innovative quickly. As such, there weren't really many new scam methods that were born during this era, but instead a whole bunch of new methods of executing pre-existing scams. First up is free Robux websites. There's evidence of these kinds of sites existing as far back as 2009, but they really started to hit their stride during this Middle Ages era, which is why I'm talking about them here. On free Free Robux websites, you would be promised everything a young Robloxian could want and more. Unlimited Robux, ticks out the wazoo, dominuses by the thousands, builders club memberships that would last until the sun collapsed in on itself, and it was all fake. In reality, it was all just a trick to lure you into falling for any number of possible scams. Some of the less sophisticated sites would just copy the age-old trick of simply asking for your password, claiming that it would only be used to log onto your account and inject the free Robux and then they'd send you on your merry way. If the scammers wanted to be more discreet about stealing your account, however, they might just convince you to download malware instead. This would come in the form of a Robux generator program, which the website would tell you that once downloaded could generate you tens of thousands of Robux at the click of a button. In reality though, clicking that button would just start malware running on your computer, which depending on the intentions of the scammer might do anything from trying to steal your Roblox account to holding your entire computer ransom. Some websites would even just start a program running in the background the instant you connected to them to try and grab your Roblox security cookie, which would let them bypass all security measures and get directly onto your account. No passwords or two-factor authentication needed. I remember there being this one summer's day, probably when I was in 6th or 7th grade, when I visited a ton of these sites, desperate to get free Robux. My parents were always super apprehensive about giving websites their credit card details because of data breaches. They barely trusted Amazon for buying stuff they needed in real life, much less Robux for buying 11-year-old me virtual clothes from a fake virtual person, which... You know what? Good parenting. But one day it got to a point where I was so sick and tired of having to muck around in a crummy old default outfit all the time that I kinda just snapped and I decided that I needed Robux right there and then. So I googled free Robux and clicked on every site on the list, probably giving the old family PC about a dozen debilitating viruses in the process. It's honestly a wonder that I still have access to my account right now. I remember one of the sites being a download to a gift card code generator program that I ran and let sit for hours while it tried to find code. And while I never did get my account stolen, nowadays that PC's average speed is about 2 FPS. 
I wonder why. As we learned earlier though, money is what matters the most to scammers, and there were plenty of ways they could get it from you back in the Middle Ages without stealing your entire account. In fact, they didn't even need to scam you out of your money at all. All they had to do was scam you out of your time and earn money in the process. Enter survey scams. These were the most common type of free Robux scam site by far, sometimes even being used in combination with malware running in the background and or password asking if the scammer was feeling really spicy. On your average survey scam website, you'd be presented with what seemed like a pretty risk-free way to earn free Robux. All they'd usually ask for would be your Roblox username and how much Robux you wanted. Little to no sensitive information was usually required. You'd often see extra add-ons as well, such as a seemingly live counter of how much Robux was being given out to people, or a live chat that you mysteriously couldn't actually chat in yourself. Eh, must be a glitch. Then you'd click generate and watch the hack start to work. Ooh, look, it's connected to his account. Looks like it failed at first, but it's working now. Now it's submitting new values to his account. Whoa, look how much Robux he's gonna get. 50,000. You could dismember yourself with that kind of money. Oh, and it successfully sent the values. Here it comes, guys. It looks like it's actually gonna work, and it wants verification. Here it would tell you that it's got your Robux for you. It's all set to send it straight into your account, and all you need to do is pass a verification checkpoint to ensure you're not a robot. Most reputable websites in order to accomplish this would have you select all pictures that contain crosswalks, or pick the pair of dice with the same icons facing up, or simulate what it's like trying to read a word after your 20th can of blocks of coal. But for some strange reason, these free Robux websites felt it best to have their users complete short surveys instead. Upon clicking this verification button, you'd be brought to what's known as an offer wall, where you would be prompted to complete any of the tasks in the list to verify that you were human. Of course, if you actually did this, nothing would happen, and it would just be a waste of time for you. But as for the scammers, they'd actually receive a small, real money commission for each person who was led to take a survey from their site. Money for them without stealing a cent from you. Often, however, these quote-unquote surveys were actually run by other completely separate scammers, and they would add the information they would get from you to a big list of people who would probably be likely to fall for more sinister scams in the future, and send that list off to yet more scammers for a price. As a result, you'd likely be inundated with emails and calls containing more scams, so if you get a lot of scam calls and emails and you've ever wondered why, well, this might have something to do with it. There were, and still are, a few actually legitimate survey websites out there that allowed you to exchange points you got from completing surveys as well as several other tasks for a multitude of rewards, including Robux. I won't name any names, but if you know, you know. There was a time when I was younger when I would spend hours a day on one of these websites in particular, farming free Robux like nobody's business, or at least trying to. See, when you're dealing with actually reputable companies that are trying to run surveys, you'll find that they want only a really, really specific demographic of people taking them. Like, I'm talking down to your age, what you work as, what your role is in your household, every little thing matters, and if you miss even one qualifier, you're done. Through trial and error, you had to learn exactly what to put down on these surveys in order to make sure you actually qualified to take them. And even then, it was still super hard to nail the exact right answers that companies wanted to hear. The survey site claimed to use an algorithm to match you with surveys that were perfect for your demographic graphic, but I'm pretty sure that was a bold-faced lie, because I saw that you don't qualify to complete this survey message enough times to make me want to frisbee my Chromebook out the window. I would spend hours on these surveys and usually only come away with a few hundred points a session, while the survey website would rack up those sweet, sweet commissions as a result of me clicking on those surveys. There really is no such thing as free Robux, there's always a price to pay, and in that case, that price was my time. Anyway, back to some dumber scamming. Using external websites was a pretty smart way to scam. Roblox couldn't moderate them, and by using bot-generated spam accounts, it was possible to earn your website a lot of traffic. But the fact of the matter is that some kids were too smart for that. They paid attention to Roblox's warnings against external free Robux sites and simply wouldn't trust any shady, unknown off-site entities to get them that free Robux that they so desperately craved. No, they knew where the only true source of free Robux could be found. Free Robux games. Unlike free Robux websites, free Robux games have pretty much died out nowadays as a result of heavy and swift moderation by Roblox. However, back in Middle Ages Robloxia, these games could be found pretty much everywhere you looked. Scam would boost their popularity by spamming ads for them and using bot-generated traffic. As an example of what these scams were like, let's take a look at what was apparently the first game I ever favorited, Content Deleted. Again, I wonder why. Upon entering the game, you'd be met with a very easy obby to make it seem like you were actually doing work. This was sometimes paired with a fake leaderboard to make the game seem like it was full of people, often famous people to make the game seem more official and trustworthy. I actually remember this game having had that, along with fake chats from the fake people telling me to like and favorite the game, but I think maybe those assets got moderated or I'm just misremembering. Things. Let's see what happens when we complete the obby.
lobby. Reward Receipt. A new feature in Roblox allows people to get rewards in game. You'll need to type in your password so we can be sure that it's you. Yep, it's literally just another classic password asking scam. Sometimes they wouldn't be advertising free Robux at all, they'd just be very clickbaity, and then upon entering them, they present you with a fake login screen and tell you that you had to log in again due to some error, but that was just different means to the same end. There wasn't really much else they could do considering that you can't really hack someone through a Roblox game, but I still find it so funny that by this point, scams had already progressed so far, and yet people were still finding success with one of the stupidest methods of scamming someone of all time. But unfortunately for those scammers, the fun wouldn't last forever, because we were quickly approaching... Something big happened to the world of scams in 2018. We didn't know it at the time, but it would come to not only drastically alter the scamming landscape forevermore, but also the way we trade limiteds and pretty much the entire Roblox economy. Rollamons.com was created. Rollamons was the brainchild of Rollamon, who initially created the site as a way to consolidate all the data he collected on limiteds as a hobby into actual helpful statistics about them. It didn't have much when it was first created, but he was dedicated to making improvements to it often, and his efforts paid off as Rollamons very quickly overtook the previous trading helper site, RBX Rocks, eventually wiping it off the internet entirely. Rollamons gained so much traction, in fact, that in 2018, it ended up with nearly triple the amount of popularity that RBX Rocks had at its peak. It was really bringing the trading community together, and something that helped greatly with that was its Discord server, where pretty much any trader who was anybody would hang out, berating others' as items and talking the less experienced members of the community into giving them absurd trade deals. That was where pretty much every trader was and still is, including the scammers. The Roblox trading community's move to Discord has been very beneficial to scammers as they now have the entire internet at their full disposal with minimal risk of moderation from Roblox. Quote, Roblox cannot enforce deals made between players outside our official features. There are a couple of official ways to transfer items or Robux between accounts. All other methods are unofficial and should be treated as suspicious. The official systems are the trade feature and the selling features on clothing, experience passes, and developer products. If you made a deal with another player and they backed out, we are not able to reverse it or return your items or currency. Basically, that means that if you get fooled into the majority of the scams I'm about to talk about, which all use offsite features in some way, there's nothing Roblox can do about it. Let's start with the most obvious one, the one you probably already know to avoid, but I'm still going to tell you about anyway, just in case. Malicious link scams. Now, yes, we already covered some pretty terrible free Robux websites in the Middle Ages section, and websites like those do still exist today, but now that most people with valuable items on their account can be directly contacted via Discord, they've been paired by something much more sinister. There are certain ways that scammers have of disguising links to look like they lead to Roblox. They can't make a completely authentic looking fake, but the ones they can make can be really close to the real thing, like www-roblux.com or roblox-app.com. If you click them, they'll even probably just redirect you to Roblox after a couple of seconds, leaving you blissfully unaware that anything bad just happened. However, these links are actually cookie loggers. Upon clicking them, they can steal that Roblox security cookie I mentioned earlier, and like I said before, if someone gets a hold of that, you're pretty much already hacked. The only way to stop your account getting compromised once someone has your cookie is by going to settings, then security, and clicking log out of all other sessions. This will sign you out of everywhere you're currently logged in on at the moment, and in the process it'll reset your security cookie, meaning that the one the scammer got will be useless. But in order to be able to do this, you have to figure out that you were scammed really soon after it happened, otherwise the scammer will have already gotten in to change your password. I actually very recently had my cookie stolen by a fake Firefox add-on claiming to be Roblox Plus, not knowing that Roblox Plus doesn't actually have a Firefox add-on. But I was able to figure out that it was fake very quickly by looking at the add-on reviews and do the secure sign out in time. Remember, if you see a scam, always do your best to warn people about it. You can help save a lot of accounts that way. At one point around 2019, there was also a more niche variant of this scam where a scammer would tell you that if you entered some JavaScript they sent you into your search bar while on the Roblox website, it would grant you some kind of reward. This of course was fake, and the script would just spend all of your Robux on a t-shirt owned by the scammer. I think in 2023 we all pretty much know not to click on links we don't know or copy and paste anything weird into our browser. Just make sure to check any Roblox links extra carefully and you can easily avoid these types of scams. However, things can get much more complicated when instead of stealing your sensitive information from you with external websites and scripts, they get you to send that information to them completely willingly, with something called the HAR file scam. This one's pretty simple, the scammer will initiate it by sending you a message, usually through a bot, claiming that they're a developer of some famous game, and they love your avatar and want to pay you thousands of Robux in exchange for you letting them use it in their game. Already you should see a red flag here, Roblox players don't just automatically have legal rights to the avatar 
cars they're wearing. If they did, legal systems everywhere would be flooded with bacon hairs, suing each other for billions of dollars. They shouldn't need to pay you anything. But some Robloxians just can't resist the siren song of free Robux and will continue with the scam. If you pursue the offer, usually by contacting the scammer through a Discord account that they provide in their message, notice how we're off-site now, the scammer will agree to pay you as soon as you give them your avatar template. The way they say you can get this is by going to your avatar editor page, navigating to the network tab on Inspect Element, right-clicking on this avatar file, and clicking Save All as Har. The resulting Har file is what they say is your avatar template that will allow them to use your avatar in their game. But watch what happens when we navigate to a completely different page on the site with this network tab still open. We scroll up to the top and see a file that looks almost exactly the same as that avatar template file, except instead of avatar, it says discover. As it turns out, that isn't your avatar template at all. It's a file that's meant to keep track of all the data related to your current session on the site, and that includes that ever so important Roblo security cookie I mentioned earlier. You know, the one that allows anyone who has it to skip directly onto your account without having to know your password or two-factor authentication. I can't show it to you for obvious reasons, but trust me, it's there, and it's the only reason the scammer wants that file from you. There's no such thing as an avatar template. If you want to get someone's avatar in game, all you have to do is download this plugin, type in their username, and press one button. It's that easy. There are other variants of this type of scam as well, wherein the scammer might ask you to send them a wide variety of different types of confidential information, from password reset links to two-factor authentication codes. Sometimes they'll get them by tricking you into screen sharing them, or by getting you to send pictures of them, or even by making you add their email address as a forwarding address for your email account so they can intercept password reset emails. In general, you should never share password reset methods, two-factor authentication codes, or files downloaded off Inspect Element to anyone ever. There's almost never a situation where you'll actually need to, and anyone trying to make you think differently is 100 percent a scammer. The final type of scam we'll discuss here is false promises scams. These are extra special because they don't actually involve you downloading any malware, clicking any untrustworthy links, sending sensitive information, or anything like that. These just force you to manually send over your stuff 100% of your own accord, and as such there's no way to moderate them. One method of doing this is the double trade scam. With this type of scam, a trader will offer you an insane deal on one of your items, better than anything you've ever seen in your life, with just the slight caveat that they have to set it in two parts. Some trades are legitimately done in multiple parts like this, but it's usually only done when it's absolutely necessary in order to make a fair trade, and traders are normally super apprehensive about it, as they know that even if an impartial middleman is used, anyone involved in the deal could easily pull out with the items at any point in time. But that's not the case with double trade scammers. They'll eagerly send you two trades, one where you lose all your money, and one where you gain it all back for the insane deal. However, notice the big trade here contains Robux. Immediately after sending this trade, the scammer will spend all of their Robux, meaning that this big trade won't go through. So when you take the deal and accept both trades, Trades, the big one will bounce, but the one where you lose everything will go right on through. Now that you know what the scammers are really up to with this one though, you've just unlocked a secret way to mess with them really badly. The next time someone comes up to you in Trade Hangout and offers you one of these kinds of deals, say yes, and then immediately go to your Trades page and spam refresh until you see the trades come through. Then accept the big one as fast as possible before the scammer has a chance to spend their Robux and you've reversed their scam right back around at them and taken all of their money. A much less fun fake promise scam however is the API scam. The scammer will initiate this scam by telling you they want to make you a really good deal, just like with the double trade scam. This time though, before they send you the trade, they need you to scan your items to see whether or not it's poison. Poisoned items are actually a real thing, where if a limited is stolen off a hacked account and the hacking victim successfully gets Roblox to return their items to them, anyone who owns the stolen items is at risk of getting banned whether they participated in the hacking or not. However, there's no program out there that can scan an item to see if it's poisoned. You just have to infer whether or not it is by looking at its previous owners on Rollamons and seeing if one of them is someone who was recently hacked. What the scammer will tell you though, is that the way you scan items is by visiting a Roblox-owned website called trades.roblox.com slash docs. Then they'll hand you a string of numbers that they claim to be the ID of the item you need to scan. Simply enter that ID into this box here and it'll scan the item. But not really, because if you look at it closely, you'll notice that this right here is Roblox's trade accept API. The ID the scammer sent you was the ID of a trade that he sent you without your knowledge, which you just accepted with the API, thus losing you everything. If you've been paying attention, you might have noticed that the screenshots I've been using to show you this scam feature my own Discord account. That's right, as a young trader, I myself was scammed using this method. I'd just gotten my first ever massive payment for building someone a futuristic prison map, and I spent it all on 50k worth of limiteds to get a trading career started. But thanks to Volcano here, in one fell swoop, I lost it all. I actually got double whammied with this one. Soon after this trade happened, I found myself locked out of my account. I don't know if something I sent in the screenshot I gave him of the trade API was sensitive and allowed him access to my account, or if I had just stumbled across a cookie logger link by coincidence somewhere else along my bumbling fail trade escapades that day, but I was now not only out 50k, I was out my entire account. I already had a support ticket open with Roblox to try and get my items back, but then I had to frantically add on that something much worse had happened, and thankfully they were understanding
standing and I got the account back relatively quickly for Roblox support standards. All of my remaining items and Robux were still on there. My guess is that the amounts I had left on there were too small for whoever took it to bother stealing them and they just wanted to add the account to a botnet. I wasn't able to get my items back as I had sent them through a trade API completely of my own accord, what was I expecting, but it honestly could have been a lot worse. Soon after I had gotten my 50k payment, I had been contacted by a completely separate scammer claiming to be a Roblox employee who had noticed a large spike in value on my account, which given the fact that I had just gone from 0 to 50k out of nowhere seemed pretty legitimate to me. They threatened to terminate me unless I could contact them via Discord and prove to them that the spike was legitimate, so not wanting that to happen, I immediately did so. They never responded, but what I'd come to find out later was that if they had responded, they would have asked me to prove that I was the real owner of my account by showing them my reset password link, which I honestly probably would have done, not gonna lie. After I got API scammed, I actually ended up DMing that impersonator in a panic, hoping that they could fast track me getting my items back somehow, and I'm sure they had a real good laugh about it. And after all that, I never got scammed again. Except by myself, of course. I'm also like 75% sure that my situation was the entire reason why now whenever you use one of Roblox's APIs, you see this big old dialog box warning you to not send any information from there or paste information into there. Because when I got scammed, that warning was nowhere to be found, but I checked back in after I got my account back, and there it was. So that's pretty cool, I guess. Well, that pretty much covers all the different types of Roblox scams that have existed over the years. There are tons and tons of different methods out there, but a lot of them are kind of just reskins of the same core scams. So I did my best to cover all of those as thoroughly as possible. Now you can go into the world of Roblox valuables feeling confident in your ability to detect scams as you've officially seen pretty much all of them that Roblox has to offer. Except this one. Nowadays, almost everyone is on the lookout for the latest online game titles, which can be simply a click on away. The recent and also the trendiest video games are available online for free. You believe over it and you simply have it. Only a bit of search is required. The free online video games are keen to offer you games which will occupy all your free time anywhere and everywhere. Obtain Roblox hack and attain game through your folks and enemies. You will find not simply the latest online games, but additionally an incredible assortment of video games like shooting video games, arcade video games, kids video games, flash online games, board games, sporting activities online games, World Wide Web game titles, motion video games, online video games, internet game titles, as well as a whole lot even more. Not just this, if Gown Up game is your decision, you'll find it that far too, in free online game titles for free. Roblox is run by a growing group of creators who generate an infinite variety of highly immersive ordeals. Greater will be to click here or stop by our formal website to be aware of more details on Hack Roblox. The very best excellent requirements nowadays are like that it can help to fulfill you by furnishing you the latest flash video games available. So what exactly are you ready for? Just go online to free online games and revel in a world brimming with impressive online games. You name it and it's visible on the display for you to perform happily. When you have got a regular typical option, your want is filled listed here with this segment too. The vintage arcade online games which offer you the most up to date additionally. The most wished typical Mario and Sonic online games in addition to other classics like Pac-Man, remarkably from the free online version. Free online games not merely conclusion right here. Shooting recreation fans, there is a room for yourself also. To deliver out the actual shooter in you, you can find a range of free online shooting game titles. If wanted intrigued consumers can click here or stop by our formal website for you to find out about Roblox cheats. It's confident that you would under no circumstances at any time imagine going or searching almost every other site. Since the moment logged on to free online game titles, you won't have place to depart, since it is loaded with the latest games for all genres. Your gaming practical experience will be these types of that it'll preserve you on, whatever or how your temper is. These video games are only a click absent, and you will erase the term bore from a phrase dictionary. No need to insert any free online game site towards your favorites or to bookmark it. These include uncomplicated to remember, and on top of that, it's normally there within your thoughts due to the fact that participating in certainly not only helps make you feel really exhausted, as these game titles fits all people. So what will you be waiting around for? Just simply click and enjoy free online video games and practical experience, the primary difference as part of your living.
Before I let you guys go, I'd just like to say a few things about the way this channel's been going lately. Out of nowhere, my video on how to make classic avatars kind of blew up, and the channel's jumped from 1k subs to over 6k, and it might even be at 7 or 8k by the time this gets uploaded. I'd just like to welcome all the new people who've found my channel recently and say that I'm super happy you're enjoying this content as much as I like making it. Some of you have called me your new favorite YouTuber, which I honestly never expected to happen at all, and all of your comments and messages have been really heartwarming and motivating to read. I know you hear this kind of thing from YouTubers a lot, but no matter how many times we say it, it never gets any less true. Y'all are the best, thank you so much. Also, to those of you who stuck around to the very end, my next video will feature a short Q&A session in it, so if you have any burning questions to ask me, you know the drill, pop them in the comments. There's no limit to how many questions you can ask, I'm just kind of experimenting and testing the waters with this sort of thing right now, so yeah, fire away. And be sure to make them discreet, we don't want any of those quitters who stopped watching halfway through to know about this. Anyway, I've rambled on for long enough, I've been Nitro Lord, and I will see all of you next time. Bye!